Hi, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to be moving on from flex, grow, shrink, and basis and actually talking about a really useful shorthand property that can summarize all three of these into an even more streamlined method. So in the past video, I talked just briefly about the flex property and pretty much what it is, is a shorthand to use the flex, grow, shrink, and basis property in one go. So we can use this to our great advantage because instead of adding all of these properties to every single one of these items, we can actually just summarize it down into one simple property. So let's go ahead and talk about it. Pretty much the flex property, which is the property that we're going to be using, follows or takes in three values, the grow, the shrink, and the basis. So what we're going to do is first add our grow. In this case, it's one. And then we're going to add our shrink, which is the default value of one. And that's just a little tip. If you don't actually have it defined, just go ahead and set it as the default value. So just a quick summary, grow the default is zero, which means it's not growable. Uh, the default shrink value is one, which means shrink it at the rate of everyone else. And then the there is no default for the uh, basis property unless you use something like auto. So what you can do is go ahead and define that as 100 pixels. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and do it for the rest of these items. Flex, flex, just the property. Here we're going to go 1, which is the grow, 3, which is the shrink, and again 100 pixels for the basis. And you can start to see kind of the rhythm that I'm getting into here. 5 for the grow, 1 for the shrink, which is the default, and 100 pixels for our uh, basis. Let's go ahead and do it for this one. And like I said, you can see the rhythm here and you can just go ahead and do this very quickly without having to manually go through and add all three of these properties. One, one, and a hundred pixels. All right, now let's go ahead and erase all of these other unnecessary properties now that we have our flex property. Just like that and erase that. So if we did this right, pretty much what's going to happen is everything is going to look the same. Since all of our values are still working, we just threw them into a shorthand. Let's go ahead and first, before we refresh, check out the behavior. Oh, whoops. Something's going wrong there. Yeah, there we go. So let's just check out the behavior. We shrink, B gets smaller, D doesn't shrink uh, at all. And we, when we size up, our last value gets bigger. Let's go ahead and refresh the page and see if this worked. So when we shrink, D is supposed to stay the same and B gets smaller. There we go. So D stays the same and B gets smaller. And if we enlarge it, you can see that C gets larger. So there we go. You can see how all of this works. Instead of adding three properties, we can actually just go ahead and do this in one straight swoop. Just go through and add all of all three values using one property, the flex property. All right, let's move on.